Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another video of Utah Macross with me. I do apologize if this video has been released uh very oh, late eh? in the day <laughs> after the event has started. Um I have to say it was really really inconvenient to do a video because as the event uh, began I had to go to work <laughs> so I couldn't do a video <laughs> until I ended work which is 12 hours later so here I am in the middle of the uh, morning uh, roughly about almost 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm doing this video so anyway guys let's dive into the information of this brand new event uh, for Lin Min Mei for Zero G Love so uh, I know that a lot of people in the past have probably read the title of the song as uh, OG Love but you know it, it happens to all of us uh, anyway guys so let's dive into the missions first um, to check out the things that we need to do to complete to get the uh, medals as I have one here completed let's just collect that first alright let's go all the way down to the bottom and we'll start from there so event mission um, challenge uh, clear 25 songs so basically play uh, as many songs as possible this will be automatically cleared if you have been playing religiously if not uh, you might have a problem so we have here 25 times 20 times 15 times 10 times so as long as you play religiously you're fine uh, then here we go uh, event song zero G love under very hard and above full combo so you don't really have to play the lower levels like the recent events uh, missions so basically all you have to do is just play the, the the difficulty that you can handle with if you can play extreme go with extreme um, if not like me I'm sticking with very hard I'm gonna plan I'm planning to try extreme later on uh, when I have more time once I've uh, gone into my off day periods uh, I'll practice a bit on the extreme and then hopefully I'll get a full combo for the extreme and clear off that mission so of course uh, extreme full combo is the highest you can get for the missions here and of course the scoring points so 100,000 and above um yeah so eighty five thousand seventy thousand. then from here we have the exclusive song missions so basically um you have to play the songs that are included within the event that is other than the main uh song itself so we have my soul for you um so for this event the um other songs rotate every day so my my soul for you actually was on the the day that the event was uh started on uh right now we have gira gira summer um so yeah just have to play five times and you're done with that mission uh then we have this um clear challenge mission which is you have to play zero g love uh clearing five challenges uh yeah so you just need to clear the missions that you pick so as long as you pick an easy one but usually for us uh, I'll always recommend you to go for those that maybe like 80% 100% 120% 120 missions usually those are a bit tougher but it is not um, that challenging um, you can always pick those missions and then play a easier difficulty of the song so that's pretty easy to clear as well so that's my tip for you and of course we have your daily which is always to play a, uh, a song in the e event mission page so that's pretty simple all you do is just play one song in the event page and then it clears and instantly you get 1200 um, zodiac medals and from here we have the yeah 30 clear missions uh, sorry uh, event missions challenge 30 times so that's pretty easy as well as long as you play religiously as i mentioned before um, and of course the extreme full combo 115,000 points um, so yeah and of course um, zero G love uh, mission challenge 10 times clear so I have to play zero G love 10 times and then I'll get this mission cleared so so far I've been playing all the other songs other than zero G love so that's <laughs> yeah basically my focus at this point in time then we have the daily songs uh, rotation mission so now it's gira gira summer like i mentioned so um if by today 23 59 uh, hours in japan 
um, this will rotate to a new song so please remember to clear off these missions of course you could always go to the you could always wait to the last day where they always release all the songs at one go and you can clear them all at one go that is if you have enough um, singing stones to refresh your energy or energy atters to refresh your energy if not I will recommend you to do it every day um, so as to not pile up the stress of gaming all in one day so yeah it's not healthy so that's my recommendation to you guys uh you just have to play the game casually you don't have to play it um that desperately on the last day if not you'll feel very disappointed with yourself like why did i do this you know earlier you know so pre-plan your schedule you should be able to play maybe spend one or two hours uh a day gaming uh, if not 45 minutes half an hour is fine as well after all each song doesn't last more than two minutes so if you need to play it five times uh, five songs a day uh, that's only basically like 10 minutes of your time um, not including um, arranging your team your your diva team so maybe spend about 25 minutes to half an hour just playing Uta Macross once a day uh, I think you're pretty much good to go so that's pretty much uh, what a casual gamer really really casual gamer uh, that isn't aiming for ranking and all that so yeah that's pretty much it all you have to do is just spend 25 to 30 minutes a day so okay um, missions aside since I won't be doing a gacha video let me explain um, the Minmei plate that is uh, exclusive to this gacha um, so yeah um, I think I should be doing this more frequently for whenever I don't pull a 10 pull gacha so sadly to say I don't have enough singing stones to do a 10 pull gacha for Minmei's plate I love her pre-evolved plate image it looks so nice uh, but you know I think the pre-evolved one it looks nicer than the evolved version to be honest <laughs> all right so let's take a look at the evolved plate because we want to see the full stats of this plate um unit total oh sorry center skill units total um will increase by 30 percent up which is fantastic so it's a all-rounder plate um yeah so as you can see the total the total points that you'll gain when it's fully powered up is 3286 which is uh, I would say on the mid tier level, we have seen episode plates that have gone up to 3,500 and above. So that's pretty much how you can grade whether this plate is useful or not other than its skill. So active skill, alright, for 20 seconds. Um, hmm. So it, 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 okay. So if you didn't know, I I should have probably explained the challenge for this event first. Anyways, um, this skill it helps increase the size of its of your notes accuracy. So for twenty seconds, it lasts. So um, let's say for example, like this current event, um, the challenge is basically um when you go into Cho Utahime mode the accuracy of your notes uh, shrink down to a smaller circle so this active skill actually helps to widen that range so that you can actually hit um, with um, poor timing and still get your perfect and excellent touches so yeah that's pretty nice um, life skill so at the beginning of 40 seconds um, this skill activates for 12 seconds you will gain a 50% up boost in score so that's pretty really nice as well. So as you can see here, okay, I didn't explain uh, episode plates clearly. So I probably might do a f another video on how do you notify, uh, how do you not, uh, take note of plates that are actually fantastic for certain things. So for this Mimi plate, uh, I didn't explain this tab before in the past. Now, as you can take note that there are different icons and these are usually the icons that appear when you're playing a live uh, those falling notes will have these symbols in them so as you can see this Mimi plate has the one for recovery so a random note will actually have this heart uh, appear and um, when you touch that note it will actually recover HP uh, then if you have this well music note in it, it means basically you will gain more points 
Then for this one, ah, this is the most important one. Uh, actually, this and this is the most important one. Um, when you see this note with the green gem, um, yeah, that plate actually helps give you an additional green note, green crystal note. These are actually helpful for like events that we just uh, previously passed, like the one um, that that. Um, the Nijiro Kuma Kuma event where you actually need to have more green notes to gain points for that event so yes plates with these um, are actually very very important for those events then fold basically is for events where you need to um, play songs that have very short uh, Valkyrie attacking times so you need to have as much fold as possible uh, and this one as well so um, this is to build up the percentage uh, for your before you enter Valkyrie attacking mode and then of course this one is for the amount of damage that you deal to your enemy during Valkyrie attack mode so yeah anyway guys I will do a few full detail explanation on this uh, in another video although roughly I already told you what you needed to hear <laughs> right now so okay so this is pretty much it for this um, event plate uh, sorry not event plate gacha plate um, so let's dive into the event itself uh, and I already told you guys the challenge for this event uh, so I'll just show you guys itself um, that is actually there so as you can see the danger button is blinking so if you tap and it actually says here that your notes so if you take note of this this three this three japanese words it actually says note so within cho utahime mode uh, okay within cho utahime mode your notes uh will actually shrink so you, if you see this chinese word here yeah it says is it pronounces as xiao so basically it means small so it will shrink smaller so your accuracy will actually um, be affected so yeah okay so let's get familiarized with the event uh, setup um, for those who are brand new to this event style um, so this event style has actually changed from the past so this is a brand new video explaining it because the last video that i did about this uh, was my first time experiencing this event style which is which was introduced back then so i'm gonna do a full detailed explanation of this one um, because they have added a few things and finally after playing the last event that had this style um, we managed to clarify certain things and yes it's time to get down to understanding what you need to know with this particular event style so as usual you can see the rewards that you can get from here uh, of course they have recently included like the uh, divas um, what do you call it um, affection levels so these items are pretty useful um, for getting certain things from your diva um, like the medals, affection medals, and of course, um, skills, special skill unlocks for your diva as well. So as you can see, you can scroll down. There's quite a bit of points that you actually need to obtain. Um, I would say I'm like 10 times away from achieving the final item, which is not that difficult, I would say. And of course, the episode plates given within this um event itself which surprisingly unlocks Min Mei's costume so that's fantastic for those who uh, can't afford singing stones and really want their favorite diva's costume um, so yeah you can actually work hard in this event obtain the episode plates within the event itself that is, that is given um, and hopefully to unlock Min Mei's costume um, I'm sure the event plates itself will not give you enough points to unlock the costume. You probably might need to use some of the episode orbs to unlock it. I have yet to unlock the costume myself um, because I have no hurry to unlock any of Min Mei's costume except for her previous one which was her birthday costume. I really really like that design so I went ahead to 
intro, I tossed in a few episode offs and I locked it straight away. So anyway, guys, enough of me blabbering. Um, okay, let's take note of this tab. So yeah, this tab will lead you to the missions that you can choose. As, as you, always, you have level 1, level 2, level 3. So level 3 being the highest will give you the most amount of percentage bonus. Now this per percentage bonus is the um, is very important at the end of a life. Um, basically, it will help boost the amount of score points that you earn uh, to get redeem all the goodies in the reward tab. So yeah, and of course we have this brand new tab that was introduced in the last event. So let's take a look at it. It's actually a Kuji style uh, reward system. So. In the last event, I couldn't really explain this part because um, I had some re recording mishaps. So this entire section, I did not explain. So this this will be a brand new section of info for this event uh, from this video onwards. So as you can see, I have already stored up 773 medals to exchange to pull a Kuji ticket. So as you can see, it takes 10 medals to pull one ticket while 100 pulls 10 tickets. And of course, you can take a look at what you can redeem from within this particular list. You see, this is under list 1. So you can actually see the whole list of items, how many lists there are in total, just pressing this blue button here. There's a total of 15 lists. 15 list so you can actually redeem as many items here but the thing is you need to take note of the most important one here which is on the 13th list normally a gold medal within an event is only obtainable by rank but because of this new introduction of kuji system um, most of us players who have uh, lesser time to play can actually obtain a gold medal easily but still with some effort I repeat again, with, but still with some effort and luck. Now, here, this is where it comes uh, down to the interesting part, where luck plays a part. So, every time you pull a ticket, there is a chance that you might actually pull the main item, which is shown here on the screen. Um, that, uh, yeah, the most important item within that list. Once you have pulled it out, you can actually skip that list and move on to the next one. So with luck, you can actually um, pull the most important items out without using much effort to play and obtain these medals. These medals are uh, usually gained at the end of the life. Okay, the amount of medals you obtain depends on your uh, total score of your life. So how should you set up your diva i will explain later so anyway guys since i have um some medals here i'm gonna do pulls but that will be later on after i have explained most of the important information uh, for this mission so um let's dive back into this later on so after selecting the mission that you want to play it will appear here so always remember what mission you are under and then choose the difficulty of the song that you wish to play of course if this song is a bit too difficult even um, at its level of 18 you can switch the song of course you can choose between the normal uh, event song which is the main event song or the sub event song so as you can see Gira Gira Sama is at level 18 while Zero G Love is at 17 for very hard of course 22 for extreme and 23 for extreme and you can actually play the um daily event song that gives the materials uh for your episode plates uh but of course you do not do take note there is no song bonus at the top so if you play it here you can still gain the points for the event but you do not have the 10% boost in points at the end of the life. So that's pretty okay in terms that you can actually still play the daily song and get materials uh, if you are lacking of them. So that's pretty fantastic as well. So okay guys, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the main info on this um, event style. 
base you don't have to get tickets or anything to play the event song. So basically, it just uses your main energy, uh, and you just have to play the song. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. There's this other tab here. So um, for the new players, this is probably something you guys might want to do. Um, okay. F normally in default, it will select, it will highlight this particular one. Basically, it chooses a song at random after every life. Now, if you don't want the game to choose a song for you randomly, I would highly recommend you to select the second option. Basically, it's you choosing the song before you play. So, yeah. Um, if you selected 0G Love, it will stick with 0G Love all the way until you have choose, uh, chosen uh, or rather you've chosen another song for yourself. So this is pretty much useful if you are just uh, grinding for your Divas proficiency level uh, or maybe you just wish to stick with that particular song because you can clear the extreme and you can gain more points from there. You know, that kind of thing. So yeah, anyway guys. Now we're going to talk about how you can set up your divas for this particular event. Alright, so I'm going to dive into 0G Love here. Okay, so you can actually set up your diva um, accordingly to the type of song it is. So um, it is a yellow song. So let's just go in. Okay, from here your friends, I will highly recommend you to just select it as total, you know. So you just pick the highest one. Then from here, you're gonna select your team. So, okay, normally, let's say for example, I have none of the plates equipped, okay? So, um, yeah, and you just need to take note of what plates are under the bonus percentage. Equip those, make sure you have those equipped so you can have a boost of score at the end of the life, which is always nice to have. Of course, right now the max is 20%. We are not sure whether there will be a 25%. It has never happened before. Um, but, you know, because every time an event happens, there are usually two gachas uh, within this event periods. And of course, the second plate that appears in the second gacha will have another percentage boost. Um, so this will be the first time, if I'm not wrong, that will have uh, the bonus percentage reach 25 if there is a second gacha. So we're not too sure about that. Um, yeah. So, okay. Normally, what you I will recommend is select episode... Um, you select this tab where you actually auto uh, adjust the plates for you. It's pretty good. I've tested adjusting the plates myself manually. Ended up using the auto function actually is better in a certain way. So, alright. So, it's currently set up in a way that it gives you the best total score. Now, do note there is no episode bonus here. Which is probably not what you want. Because um, it is vital that you have the episode bonus at the end of the life because if you don't have it you will notice there's a very drastic difference in the amount of points that you obtain uh yeah so i'm sorry so i'm sorry guys that this video ended up very long with it but it is necessary information especially for those who are starting out in Utah Macross and of course veterinary players who have probably missed out certain information that I have not included oops uh, in the past so uh, don't mind the message I forgot to turn off the notification it is late at night I really wanted to do this quickly and uh, yeah get it done over with so okay uh, from here we select the lowest amount of total score on the plate which is this one, which is 2510. So of course, we select the episode bonus tab here. So it will show you plates that are giving the bonus 5%. So tap onto them. Okay, what you really want to do, take note, is always make sure that the um, live skill is activated. So since this one is not activated, uh, because Min Mei apparently can't equip that and have his skill activated. Let's change to another plate. This one is activated, so let's equip it. So from here, you can actually see that I have a 5% boost. So just equip all the essential plates that you can. Usually the first one is the one that you want to take note of because that's the one that has the most amount of points. So yeah. So if, let's say for example, if it's a plate that is uh, given in the event, 
let's say for this for example this one which is already equipped um, you might want to power up the skill uh, or rather the the plate itself so from here make sure that you are able to fully power up I am unable to complete it because I'm short on resources uh, but oh well that's part of life <laughs> all right guys so that's pretty much it on the explanation of how you can set up your team I'm not gonna do a full setup I already have a team set up and saved here so I'm just gonna pull it out just to show you guys um, this is my 0G love team um, at 20% with these three divas now I do rotate my divas because of the uh, proficiency levels so yeah so this the setup will be entirely different with entirely uh, another set of um divas oh my goodness these guys are very very active right now <laughs> i'm so sorry about the messages guys anyways um okay so that's down to all the basics and the know-hows of this event let's dive into the kuji again um because that's the most important part for the rewards so oh boy okay so i'm gonna do 10 pool now do take note of how many items there are within this um, list there is 20 so um, hopefully with 110 pool I might pull out the most important item and I can skip on to the next list straight away so let's pull this okay so apparently I didn't get it so from here we are gonna do a single pull because it is not beneficial to pull all 10 and we don't want to waste the medals so i'm gonna do single pulls and hopefully we'll pull the the main item out so i'm teaching you tips and tricks right now how to play a kuji so mm, really really sorry guys about the notification up there okay so we are almost at the oh there we go so with five single pulls we managed to pull out the most important item okay and from here we can skip to the next list all right so as you can see the next list we have an increase of 30 items so of course the most uh, beneficial way of pulling kujis is basically you pull half of it okay so i can pull another 10 here then we go for single pulls okay let's do this and we have the main item out already so that's pretty fantastic uh we could have just done a single pool and it came out but you know we never know whether we uh we can predict whether a single pool will actually pull it out or not so we are moving on to the next list because we've already gotten the main item out so right now we have 50 all right so we're gonna keep pulling until we've gotten the main item out Oh my goodness guys chill on the messages okay so we already passed the halfway mark we can do single pulls from here okay still nothing it's always good to play safe you can see my 700 medals have just disappeared like that on uh, three lists so you might, like I said, you have, you might have to put in some effort if you really, really want to get the golden medal. Uh, if not, you know. Okay, we've reached quite a pinnacle point of almost using up all my medals and there we go i've used up all my medals so anyway guys thank you so much for watching all the way to this point if you have oh my goodness it has been a very very long video and i apologize again for the the hyperactiveness of the broadcast crew <laughs> on my facebook group uh yeah so we're actually planning on um um, who to re who's gonna take responsibility for recording um, this current fr this coming Fridays or rather is today uh, no not today this coming Friday uh, I'm so my, my my whole weekly calendar is messed up because I've been working shift work so I really forgotten what day I'm on so yeah this coming Friday um, for my cross tomorrow and I do look out for it as well um, it is it, it starts in japan 10 p.m so um one of us is gonna record the show and upload it on facebook as usual so yes guys uh if you guys aren't following uh our content on facebook um please do check 
the Facebook group. I'll leave the description uh, link in the sorry. I'll leave the Facebook link in the description down below. Oh my goodness, I'm too tired right now to even think. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you know it really means a lot if you have reached all the way to this part of this video. And as always, if you like what you hear and see, do hit the like button. If you don't really like what I mentioned, then of course hit the dislike button. I can't stop you. So anyway, guys. Thank you so much. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.